And now the news in details. A major breaking news coming in from Meghalaya's Garo Hills. In a special operation launched by SWAT and Cobra Commandos, a top cadre of the Garo rebel group GNLA was shot to death at Samanda along Tura William Nagar Road. The top GNLA cadre has been identified as Marcus, who was the second in command of William Nagar. It is given to understand that 15 GNLA cadres were hit hiding at Bolakangre village in East Garo Hills. When the police launched its operation, 14 others have managed to flee, which included top cadres like Dalton and Jimmy. Meanwhile, Commander-in-Chief Sohan Dishura has given a statement to a local newspaper in Tura, Ashik Songbad, condemning the brutal killing. Shira also stated that GNLA will retaliate by killing policemen in Garo Hills and the police department has to pay compensation to their families. Well, a major breaking news has come in from Meghalaya's Garo Hills in a special operation launched by SWAT and Cobra Commandos. A top cadre of the Garo rebel group GNLA was shot to death at Samanda along Tura William Nagar Road. The top GNLA cadre has been identified as Marcus, who was the second in command of William Nagar. It is given to understand that 15 GNLA cadres were hiding at Bolkangre village in East Garo Hills when the police launched its operation. 14 others have managed to flee, which included top cadres like Delton and Jimmy. Meanwhile, Commander-in-Chief Sohan D. Shira has given a statement to a local newspaper in Tura Ashik Songbad, condemning the brutal killing. Shira also stated that GNLA will retaliate by killing policemen in Garo Hills and the police department has to pay compensation to their families. Well, we are now joined by our content editor Saidul Khan to give a detailed scenario of the GNLA movement in Garo Hills and the special operation launched by the SWAT and Cobra Commandos. Well, uh, Superjit, if I have to just brief you that the situation in Garo Hills have been very, very turmoiling with uh, you know GNLA active in the, the, the coal rich belt of the area, especially those around William Nagar and Bakmara. And we have been hearing uh, uh, very, very unfortunate stories about GNLA kidnapping, extorting money from that part of the area. And the SWAT and the Cobra commandos have been, you know, launching various operations and have managed to, you know, gun down many of the top uh, GNLA carriers. And I think this uh, today's uh, encounter in along Samanda and uh, William Nagar, that, uh, that's the place where the operation had happened. And I think uh, that's a significant uh, move which we see by the SWAT and the Cobra commandos, of course. It is very, very unfortunate that the 14 others have managed to flee because we know that they were hiding in a village there in called Bolkongre and the police and the SWAT commandos were there to do their operation and while they have come there, they could manage to gun down one of them out of the 15 who were hiding there and the rest 14 have escaped. I think that's an unfortunate story which we hear because the police in Meghalaya have been making effort to you know, curb the insurgency movement which is there in Meghalaya, especially the Garo Hills and the Coal Ridge Bells of Garo Hills and I think it's a very, very significant move, but now we are getting that, unfortunately, the um, the reaction which is coming in from uh, Sohan Dishir, the commander-in-chief of uh, GNLA, where he is saying that he will retaliate and, you know, create unrest and will, you know, attack policemen and the police department has to pay compensation. I think that is very, very unfortunate because the police is doing their role because they want to curb out insurgency and we know that GNLA is not coming forward for peace talk either. Exactly, Shaidul. Well, GNLA has been unleashing terror in coal belts of Garo Hills for quite some time now. Well, Shaidul, how do you read their terror activities? Well, as I was saying, Subhajit, that, you know, it is very, very unfortunate that, you know, if you look into the history of uh, militancy in Garo Hills from the ALMA then to the ANVC, then ANVC came to the truce with the government, which is almost seven years now, and it is not reaching any headways because they have been uh, demanding for a borderland kind of demand in Garo Hills. They are saying that the Garo Hills Autonomous Council, which is already existent, it should be upgraded to, to you know, borderland, uh, what called Garo, Garo Hills Territorial Council and the model which is being also worked out for the NDBIS demand and also we know that the DHD demand is a kind of similar demand which uh, the Garo Militant Office, the ANVC are looking for but it is still being discussed and the peace talk is on progressing and we, we see that the ANVC have now split it into two, the ANVC B is there and GNLA to just uh, brief our viewers that GNLA was uh, formed by a top uh, a policeman in Meghalaya, Champion Sangma, who is presently under police custody and uh, jail in Shillong, so who was hiding in Bangladesh and was later arrested in Meghalaya last year. So he is in jail. So he formed this uh, GNLA. And Sohan Dishira, the commander in chief of GNLA, was also part of the ANVC, and, and then he was a part of the ANVC splinter group, and then he joined the GNLA. I think so. It's it's a kind of same people we have been seeing 
the insurgency scenario in entire northeast you be with the one outfit then later you leave the another outfit and you join another outfit or you float another outfit so that has been happening one group comes for peace talks and the other splinter groups uh, goes into in hiding and unleashes terror so i think that has been continuing and it's high time that you know the government the people have to be conscious that they don't if they don't want this activities or the, because they are saying that they are fighting a rebellion they are fighting for you know uh, successionist movement and as have been saying that they will be you know uh, like the gnl is demanding for a garo land state and i think people don't subscribe to such demands but they feel that you know people are actually um, wants a separate garo land in meghalaya well sadly it's really <coughs> troubling news like it's uh, it has come to us that gnl has become even active in assam as well in the recent times like how do you think like the government and the police authorities are going to tackle this situation well uh, subajit as you know that you know we have reported a number of stories especially coming in from the gwalpara district of uh, assam where we have seen the gnl along with uh, ndfb alpha more prominently with the alpha they have been unleashing terror they were found with grenades they were found you know uh, on ex uh, serving extortion notes they have been found you know demanding uh, money from uh, people there from the businessmen so i think definitely it's a very very serious issue that the gnl has not only been unleashing terror in meghalaya but have become very very active in assam as well um in the month of february we have arrested around uh, uh, held around 15 uh, numbers of gnla from assam which was being given detailed by the police here so i think um, the gnla is becoming very very um, what called uh, they have been expanding this tentacle in the region and have been trying to unleash terror i think that's an unfortunate story and people have to face the fear in especially garo hills where they continue to extort money from businessmen they continue to kill people but it is not reported in the media and i think that the unfortunate story because that part of the garo hills which i am talking about uh, the coal belt especially uh, if you go from william nagar the nongal bibra where the uh, recently the eight uh, eight uh, laborers were killed by miscreant which we don't know because they are saying the miscreant it could have been the gnl also but uh, the police have not come to give us this information either the gnl has accepted this information so we cannot say that but of course these are the area where you know crime atrocities on people continues to go there and it's are these are not reported well thank you very much saidul khan for updating us on uh, the topic like that was saidul khan our content editor like updating on gnla